Well, obviously, you know, when it scoring's up 40 something to six, um, you know, NC State's kind of in a tough situation right now. They're got a complete new coaching change and they're making a lot of change there. I, I know Coach Papalizio well enough to know that he's gonna he's gonna get it done there and we look forward to some good competition with those guys down the road. So, uh, you know, overall it was a good weekend for us. We wrestled in North Carolina yesterday and wrestled at, uh, and then of course wrestled here today against NC State. So, you know, we probably had, probably needed a, a weekend where we could work on some things, I guess, and, and, and we worked on some things. Um, you know, um, we were kind of in the fourth of a fourth week in a row here. I, I kind of uh, call this the, the grind and we've got one more week. We've got a big weekend next weekend with Maryland on Friday and then of course Oklahoma here on Sunday so we get a little time off after that so we've kind of called this uh, part of the season to grind and, and it'll be five weeks in a row and uh, we're just looking ahead to finishing out our, uh, our our middle part of the season out here next weekend strong so any questions? Coach can you just talk about how Gerard rebounded today after a tough loss yesterday? Yeah you know he did I, I first off I give him a lot of credit I give him a lot of credit for um, for kind of sucking it up, you know, we have to we had to make weight two days in a row. He obviously didn't feel good yesterday. Not that that's an excuse because it is an excuse, and, and you know he has to figure out how to get it done when he didn't feel good, and he didn't feel good, and so he's got to um, you know get a little tougher mentally there. He, he just wasn't real tough mentally yesterday, and you know to rebound. And we got back late last night about nine o'clock, and he had to get a workout in, and then he had to come in and make weight this morning, and. You know, I could tell he didn't feel good. He didn't really want to be here, but then he went out and, and put together a great performance today. So, you know, it, it's a process. And I think with Gerard, when Gerard has something to prove or is on, he's really, really good. But he obviously wasn't against North Carolina. And that's not taking anything away from the North Carolina wrestler. He obviously had a great weekend. He beat, you know, he beat uh, the UVA guy on Friday night and he beat the Virginia Tech guy on Saturday. So good for him. So I think it was a combination of, of that guy having a good weekend and, and uh, you know, Gerard just. He wasn't that tough yesterday. He needs to be consistently tough, and he wasn't tough. So, You know, obviously, going into a match, you're going to get points from your ranked guys most of the time. How important is it for the 33 and the 74 up through heavyweight? They've been wrestling really well lately. How important is, is, is are they to the success of this team? Well, they're very important. You know, if we want to do what, what we think we can do at the end of the year, spew, Gable, Vetterline, Borley have to keep progressing and Maroney and, and those guys are all progressing they're all getting better you know we have to win close matches at those weights against the good guys and that's what we're striving to do so so good for those guys you know I think those guys all went undefeated this weekend I think between the five of them they went 10-0 and 0 and spewed especially yesterday beating the North Carolina guy he turned around a win that uh, he lost in the semifinals of the Hokie Open in November so he's getting confidence right now, and I think all five of them should be getting confidence. And those guys are important to us as we go down the stretch. Can you give us any update on Zach Nybert? Zach Nybert just tweaked his knee at the um, at uh, the Virginia Duels. You know, he did some drilling today and, and was moving around on it today. We hope to have him ready to go by next weekend. Uh, that's our goal, so we'll just kind of see. But uh, nothing major. Just uh, we're kind of resting him for cautionary and, and making sure we're being smart. So we, we got a, a good guy at the end of the year. And just finally, next week in a big one, two ranked teams, one on the road in an ACC match, and then home here for Senior Day. He talked about those two matches, then also maybe the seniors that will be honored next Sunday. Well, yeah, we're, you know, Maryland is is uh, defending ACC champs, and, and anytime Maryland and Virginia Tech get together, we get their best effort. And, and they're a little down right now had some guys out but now they've got everybody back in so you know we're expecting a war Friday night in uh, at Maryland and then we got to get in the bus Saturday morning come back to Blacksburg and get ready for Oklahoma and Oklahoma is kind of the same way they've had a few hiccups lately but you know the way we match up with Oklahoma they're very uh, dangerous uh, very dangerous so we have to be ready to go for those guys and you know we've got Maroney like you said with the seniors you know Dong, uh, Yates, Garnett have all had over 100 wins. I think Maroney's coming up on 80 or 90 wins. Those guys are all, uh, you know, those are the guys that are kind of the pioneer of the Dresser Roby uh, era, I guess, in, in terms of uh, those guys came on board with us very early in this process. And so it's going to be a good day, but it's going to be a sad day to, to tell all four of those guys goodbye at Castle. So we want a lot of people to come out and, and uh, thank those guys. Thanks.